him on a whole nother level Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him Girl, I guess he didn't know any better Girl, that man didn't show me ever Do all I can just to show you it's special Certain it's your love that holds me together Yo, what is up guy, j Dog Moyo here, and today it's a different kind of video. We've got the Minnesota Vikings, more importantly the Mike Zimmer era of the Minnesota Vikings, and just what's happened in the past years, and, well, how they are now. So January 15th, 2014, Mike Zimmer is named the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> That offseason, they would draft Anthony Barr, 9th overall, Teddy Bridgewater, 32nd overall, Jarek McKinnon in the 3rd round, basically the only main ones. They would sign Linval Joseph to a 5-year, $31.5 million deal, and Captain Munnellin to a 3-year, $14.25 million deal. They would re-sign Adam Thielen for very cheap, and Everson Griffin for $42.5 million. In that 2014 season, the Vikings would start 3-5 and, and finish the last 8 games 4-4, four four, giving them a 7-9 and nine record for 3rd in the NFC North and 10th in the NFC. Obviously, they missed the playoffs. They had the 27th ranked offense and the 14th ranked defense. On top of those team leaders, Everson Griffin also led the team in sacks with 12 that year. Now, the 2015 offseason was a big one for the Vikings, in the draft especially. They drafted Trey Wayne's 11th overall, Eric Kendricks in the 2nd round, Daniel Hunter in the 3rd, and Stefan Diggs in the 5th. All who would be key players for the Vikings for years to come. As for the 2015 season, the Vikings would start 2-2, two two, then win 5 in a row, and finish the season 11-5. This was top of the NFC North and 3rd in the NFC. They had the 29th ranked offense, 4th for rushing however, and the 13th ranked defense. Adrian Peterson, Teddy Bridgewater, Everson Griffin, Harrison Smith, and Anthony Barr all named Pro Bowlers. Adrian Peterson gets named to the All-Pro first team and kick returner Cordell Patterson to the All-Pro second team. In the postseason, however, the Vikings would come up against the Seahawks in the wild card. The game, it was close the whole way, a defensive game, but as all of us Vikings fans know, it came down to a field goal by Blair Walsh, which he ultimately missed. Yes, even though this was a horrible loss for us Vikings fans, we, it gave us hope for the future, you know. I mean, the game ultimately did come down to a field goal. Unfortunately, he missed it, but it was just a field goal holding us back, basically. So in the 2016 offseason, the Vikings drafted Laquan Treadwell 23rd overall and Mc Kenzie Alexander in the second round. They signed Alex Boone to a four year, $26.8 million deal. We signed Zendejo for 16 mil, Adam Thielen for another year for 600,000, and Marcus Shields for two years, 4 mil. Though the Vikings would start the 2016 season a hot 5 0, they ended up finishing with an 8 8 record. Now, I know what you're thinking how did the Vikings choke this season? Well, Injuries, plain and simple. August 30th, Teddy Bridgewater had a season-ending ACL tear. It's later revealed that he would miss the 2017 season as well. The Vikings, knowing this, traded a first and a fourth rounder for Sam Bradford to the Eagles. Yeah, I know we're all shocked, but it actually happened. On top of that, Adrian Peterson tore his meniscus in the home opener. He would later come back in the season, but only had six rushing attempts before leaving the game. It was also Adrian Peterson's last season as a Minnesota Viking. Thank you, Adrian. Even with the abysmal injuries in the second half of the season, Anthony Barr, Everson Griffin, Linval Joseph, Cordell Patterson, Xavier Rhodes, and Harrison Smith were all named to the Pro Bowl. However, kick returner Cordell Patterson was named to the All-Pro first team. Now... In the offseason, they drafted Dalvin Cook in the second round, Pat Alfline in the third. They signed Riley Reef to his massive five-year, $58.75 million deal. They signed Mike Rimmers to a five-year, $30 million deal. Latavius Murray to a three-year, $15 million deal. And Case 
Keenum to a one-year, $2 million deal. We signed Adam Thielen to a three-year, $17 million deal, as that was his breakout year in the 2016 season. Chad Greenway retired, and they lost Captain Munnellin and Cordell Patterson to free agency. In the 2017 season, the Vikings started 5-2 and two, and 7-1 of one in their last eight to give them a 13-3 and three record, top of the NFC North, second in the NFC, the 11th ranked offense, and the top ranked defense. Now, in the postseason, the Vikings would have the wild card by, and in the divisional, they would come up against the Saints. Now... The Vikings were up 17-0 at halftime on the Saints. However, the Saints would bring it to a 24-20 game. Now, this ultimately, however, would blow up in the Saints' face and bring about the play that we all know and love. And now 10 seconds remain in what could be a heartbreaking loss for the Vikings. And a thrilling come from behind win for the Saints. Winner goes to Philly. Only 10 seconds left. You have to get out of bounds. There's no way you can get the ball spiked. 10 seconds to go. 24 23 Saints. Vikings at their own 39. It's third down. Three receivers right, Thiel and left. Marshawn Lattimore, 12 yards from Adam. Case on a deep drop. Steps up in the pocket. He'll fire to the right side. Yes, sir. The Minneapolis Miracle. I know you Saints fans love that one the most. Now, this was basically the pinnacle of the Mike Zimmer era. Vikings fans. The Vikings team was just on top of the world. And then we got stomped in the NFC Championship 38-7 against the Eagles. <laughs> Xavier Rhodes, Everson Griffin and Adam Thielen are all named Pro Bowl starters with Anthony Barr. Harrison Smith, Kyle Rudolph, and Linval Joseph all being named as the bench. Xavier Rhodes is named to the first team All Pro, along with Harrison Smith, and Everson Griffin and Adam Thielen are named to the second team All Pro. In that following offseason, the Vikings would draft Mike Hughes 30th overall, Brian O'Neill in the second round. They would lose Sam Bradford, Case Keenum, Teddy Bridgewater, and Jerick McKinnon in free agency as well as Joe Berger would retire. They would obviously sign Kirk Cousins to his lucrative three-year $84 million deal, and they also signed Sheldon Richardson to a one-year $8 million deal. The Vikings would start 4-3-1 and one, and finish the last eight games 4-4, four, four, giving them an 8-7-1 record. This was second in the NFC North and seventh in the NFC, just missing out on the playoffs. They had the 17th ranked offense and the 5th ranked defense. Anthony Barr, Daniel Hunter, Harrison Smith and Adam Thieland were all named Pro Bowlers with Daniel Hunter and Harrison Smith both being named 2nd Team All-Pro. Following a disappointing 2018 season, going into the offseason the Vikings would draft Garrett Bear, Bradbury 18th overall, Earl Smith Jr. in the 2nd round and Alexander Madison in the 3rd round in the 2019 season the vikings would start six of two and finish the season 10 and six giving them the second seed in the nfc north and the sixth seed in the nfc they had the eighth ranked offense and the 13th ranked defense dalvin cook and anthony harris have their breakout year xavier rhodes is rhodes open but my gosh this season it was good 
in the postseason, the Vikings would come up against their familiar foes, the Saints, in the wild card round. However, this game, well, it would go to overtime, and Kirk Cousins led an amazing drive to win the game 26 to 20. Then, however, in the next week in the divisional against the 49ers, we got stomped 27 to 10. Dalvin Cook, Harrison Smith, and the new Hunter were named to the Pro Bowl, along with Kirk Cousins, Everson Griffin, CJ Ham, Eric Kendricks, and Xavier Rhodes named alternate, with Eric Kendricks being named to the first team All Pro. Following the conclusion of the 2019 season, the Vikings would cut veterans like Linval Joseph and Xavier Rhodes to save cap. They would extend Kirk Cousins for another two years. They would sign Michael Pierce, DT from Baltimore. Great nose tackle, great replacement for Linval. Uh, they would trade Stefan Diggs to the Bills for a boatload of picks, at least compared to the Hopkins trade. They basically just lost a lot of depth in a lot of positions corner receiver the d-line obviously and i mean the core is aging really you know you look at Thielen, rudolph um the defense especially it's evident with the cuts and they did however sign xfl linebacker see how he pans out but i mean the vikings you know they're more like a contend now team and we need to contend now before we have to start the rebuild again. I mean, will Kirk Cousins lead us to a Super Bowl? I guess we'll find out within the next two years. But I'm honestly not confident that he will. Now, hopefully, you know, Kirk Cousins proves me, proves all the haters wrong. And he, he steps up these next two seasons. and Takes the Vikings all the way to the Lombardi Trophy. But I just... Not sure if it will happen. In conclusion, during the Mike Zimmer era, the Vikings made the playoffs three out of six times, making it all the way to the NFC Championship game once. I mean, this team has really flourished. The defense, the DBs obviously have flourished under Mike Zimmer. But, I mean, we still could not get a Super Bowl ring yet. Now, that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.